I didn't do an amazing job. I did my best. I could have done better. I want to apologize for everybody whose name I pronounced poorly. Um, I did not finish college. <laughs> uh, what was I going to start? Um, oh, so I went to the movie theater today. Uh, my buddy wanted to cheer me up. Um, and while at the movie theater... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Uh, anywho, so I went to the movie theater today, and I found the one thing that guys always have trouble finding. So I'm walking up the aisle, right? And all of a sudden I stop, and I look. I pulled up my phone, I took a picture, my buddy looked at me, and he's like, what are you doing? And I went, I found the G-spot. Yeah, it's a little, little slow joke there. Um, speak, speaking of sex and whatnot, I'm at that point of my age where I tend to question my sexuality. Um, and mostly because of the way I hang out with the boys, um, and you know, if anyone had their best friends that uh, you you know had gay around, you you can understand. Uh, but there was this one time I had to go to this clock shop, and I was walking inside. I don't know why I went in there. I was just bored one day, and I went, oh, let me just see. And the owner of it was this nice Asian old man. I don't know why I said Asian, but I, I, it's just that was the first thing I noticed. So I'm going up there, and I'm like, damn, this is a lot of clocks here. And he's, looks at me with a straight face and he goes, oh, yes, we still have lots of clocks. And then I went, oh, really? What kind of clocks do you have? And he's like, oh, we should have the old grandfather clock, we can have our black clock, we have all clocks for you. And it was at, it was at that moment that I'm probably bisexual. Uh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Uh, what, else, what else do I have? Oh, going off topic, because that's what I do, because being on the spectrum, I go from one top to the next, no transition. How am I doing on time? Good? You're good, you just got three minutes. Ah, cool, cool. So, my buddy, uh, I, I, got a, I got a friend of mine who, you know, does dancing, and I was hanging out with him, helping him with the, uh, something, I can't remember what it was. But I told him I do open mic night, and he's like, oh, I got a funny story for you. And I was like, all right, shoot. And he was telling me, him and his, no, his adopted brother used to work at uh, uh, Pizza Hut. And he was a delivery driver, and one day, you know, he was out there at night, and he got jumped. And legit, after that, you know, he went home, talked to his brother, and, which is my friend, and he looked at him, straight his face, and said, well, what kind of pizza was it? And I was like, damn, you should actually probably really straight. I would have been, uh, I probably would have asked about the pizza, too. I'm hungry. Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Yeah. Not the best. I did my best, though. Oh, you know, they say that a gun can't solve your problems. That's why I carry two. Uh, random, random topic, something with. Uh, what is it? One, one thing also that people always tell me is money can't buy happiness because I have a spending problem. And I, I go to tell them, I mean, you may be right, but at least I got a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Um, I got nothing else. It was just that uh, my, my brain's kind of uh, a flood right now. Anyone got anything they want to ask me? Yes. Oh my god, your fucking plaid shirt and black hat against the black wall, your black sneakers on the black board, your fucking camouflage pants are the only thing I can see about you. Yeah, all I can think about it as you were fucking minutes. And that means my costume works. I'm trying to be John Cena. Do, 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 do. I don't know about that. <laughs> Keep it going for Brandon!